morning, Britain. Our top story is the Corbyn fight back begins. The Labour leader now says Britain can be better off after Brexit. And he's no longer wedded to the idea of unrestricted migration across the EU. But can he win the hearts, minds and votes of the nation? We'll ask him when he joins us live on the sofa for the first time ever in an hour's time. Chaotic scenes in London yesterday as tube workers walked out. Today, Southern Rail shuts down again, and now the strife could move to Leeds, Manchester and Newcastle as rail workers vote on strike action. It was on emergency. Don't turn up. Patients urged to avoid a and &E, and it's absolutely necessary as hospitals struggle to cope with the influx of the ill. And he says he's feeling more ferocious than ever. Chris Eubank Jr. joins us ahead of a major fight, along with his mentor, his dad. Tuesday, 10th of January, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. It's a very sad morning today. Uh, it's the end of an era, isn't it? It is. Uh, one of those moments that I think viewers will be very distressed about. It is the, it's the parting of a sorrowful moment. It is the end of the Jeremy Corbyn cushion. Because after a year of using this cushion to harangue the Labour leader, shame him into coming on our show, he finally agreed. We're as surprised as you are. <laughs> He'll be here at 7.10, and the cushion will be formally retired as I hand it over with you. Together we will hand it. Are we giving yeah. this to Jeremy We're going to give this to Jeremy Corbyn. I'm sure Corbyn. he's going to be very grateful, isn't he? We're going to give it to him as a gift uh, to recognise the fact that, you know, although we've been quite aggressive about him not being on, now he's agreed we will respect the fact he's yeah. coming on, right? We'd rather have him in person than the cushion, so we won't miss it. And well, we look I, forward to seeing him well, I tweeted at last 10 past night, 7 this yeah, morning. Yeah, I tweeted last night, you know, very excited to have you on. I said, well, someone's got to put you right about Arsene Wenger, was his response on mm. Twitter. So it could get very, very, very nasty about Arsenal. Yeah, just, Everything else will be fine. Just to point out, we will be asking him about other issues as well. Yeah, um, mainly focused on people from Islington maybe hanging on to their job by their fingertips. Mm. That, that's not Jeremy, that's, that's Arsenal. OK, yeah, you were making yeah. a parallel? No, perish the thought. Yeah, you don't want to give away your questions before he appears <laughs> on the sofa. Let's have a look at the weather now with Alex. Hello, good morning. Yes, it is really the calm before the storm on Thursday and Friday. The weather looks set to be fairly interesting, particularly across the north. Multiple weather warnings have been issued. I'll keep you posted on this as we go through. But as I say, today it is going to be much calmer. Just a bit of rain crossing the country eastwards. Brighter, though, uh, for the eastern parts of the UK as we start the day. Alex, is it going to snow?